There's a guy who just has me doing like a monologue or something. It's been going on for like 10 minutes. I didn't know what else to do, so I just did a golf clap as he walked by with his friends. <laughs> something about pioneers, oh pioneers. Well, this trail sure was interesting today. Coming there behind us, pioneers, oh pioneers. Oh, to die and dancing on. Are there some of us who die? Has the hour come? Then upon the mark, we could have stopped. Soon and sure, the captain stood up, trying to hold the way here. All the calls of the world. Just got off the trail to find a spot to pee and there's like bear scat everywhere down there. <laughs> so it doesn't really make you feel super confident. I looked over and I literally said, whoa, just look at this view out of nowhere. So pretty. It's a gorgeous day, sun shining. It's like mountain views. It's a great day. There's a helicopter right there somewhere. Wonder what's going on. Just looked at the map and we're about to climb Rocky Top. Ah, that's so exciting. I had no idea that was today. I need to be looking at the map more. We're going to Derek Knob Shelter, six miles. No horses. Sad day. In this stretch of trail, I hike from Russell Field Shelter to Derek Knob, which is a stretch of nine miles crazy to look back and see where we walked from. So on top of that ridge is that crazy fire tower that I took videos of. And then we've walked all up this ridge and all the way up here the last couple days. Pretty cool. There are places in life we tend to remember because we met someone there. In the Smokies, I made so many new friends. You met Gushers, you've met Lucky. You're about to learn more about Crunchy, but for now, here on Rocky Top, meet Squatch, who I would go on to make so many memories with. The Squatch in the wild hit the 400 mark. <laughs> Delicious. Congratulations. Way to go, Sasquatch. It's actually like 601. Oh, there's no small. You listeners. And it all started right here on Rocky Top. This is living man. <laughs> it's laying on top of Rocky Top. Not to the rock part, but just this grass part. It feels so amazing. It's like laying in like a really soft bed. <laughs> but the sun came out. Oh, it just feels so good. I like your Rocky Top music. I got you on video. <laughs> right, we're on the actual top of Rocky Top. 
you know what that means. It's time for a little bit of a disrespectful song. Not for me to <laughs> You know the corn don't grow at all on rocky top of the ground, to rocky by far. That's why all those folks on rocky top get their corn from a jar. Rocky top, you'll always be a second rate state to me. I hate rocky top. I'm from Kentucky. I'm from Kentucky. Okay, actually, yeah! <laughs> I kind of feel like I love Rocky Top now. I'm gonna have to change the lyrics. It's beautiful. So today's been hard, but really, really good. Um, we climbed Rocky Top, as you saw, and Sasquatch was sitting on one side of Rocky Top, just laying in the grass, and I was like, I promised myself after standing Indian that I would um, enjoy the balls a little bit more. So I stopped and had lunch with him and some other people. It was just lovely. And there was a guy on top who was just doing a little day hike and he gave us all this trail magic. He was like, do you want my chips? And I was like, yes. He was like, do you want um, these peanuts? And I was like, yes. He said, do you want these cliff parts? Yes. Do you want Gatorade packets? Yes. And then uh, Sasquatch gave me some of his fruit snacks and um, some of his electrolytes, uh, jelly beans. So I ate more for lunch than I typically do. I'm feeling strong I'm going downhill for a huge stretch. But yeah, I mean, we had some pretty significant elevation and I'm feeling good. So I think the extra calories really helped and the big break so i can i hope i can make it to the next shelter before it gets too dark i'll probably be tenting somewhere far away because i'm sure everybody else is going to get there soon it looks like a big old party is taking place there so um but whatever it'll be it'll be fine i, I like my tent too hey right in the trail some bear scat you see how big it is hmm water looks pretty far down Although Rocky Top was a big boost, this day also brought its own challenges. I struggled getting momentum going up the mountain when I had to stop to let about 40 other hikers pass me. Then, on my way down, my energy crashed once again. I found out this day I needed to use electrolytes. I felt like I was dragging myself to the shelter, but I made it and hiked with a new friend named Coffee Bean the last mile or so. I wish I had a house up in the mountains It looks out on the Smokies hazy green Cause when I lose my blurred out faith to all this doubting I think about the views we see Night coffee bean <laughs> Sleep tight Holy cow. There's my little guy right through there. <laughs> this has to be a record. <laughs> a lot. Oh my gosh. I can't even see mine. Yeah, bang. Whoa, good job. Was it heavy? No, it was pretty smooth. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. How many trail days up in here? There's so many tents, so many people. Never seen this many people at a shelter. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign the times are changing. The old familiar places torn down for renovation. But there's some good that always keeps I know I won't forget The times we had in Tennessee
my gosh getting packed up and it is a cold one i think this is the coldest one we've had so far in the morning <laughs> i gotta put this tent up and pack it up so i can get moving and get warm this stretch of trail takes us from Derek Knob Shelter all the way to Clingman's Dome, which is, well, would be 10.2 miles, but I accidentally hiked two extra miles in there when I got lost. More to come. Hiked from Derek Knob Shelter and I'm going to Clingman's Dome today. Heck yeah, I'm gonna see my parents again. Super exciting. Been hiking with Zach, AKA Gushers, AKA Jester and going his pace. Um, and I was so surprised. I hiked two miles per hour for the first couple hours, which was super cool, going straight uphill. So, um, or I guess the first hour. <laughs> so it's been an hour and a half. Uh, so that was, gave me a big boost because we weren't, I didn't feel like we were going super fast. We were just going uh, a very like steady pace and that's the way he normally hikes. He says he knows what two miles per hour are. So I guess that like, I just take way too many breaks because I never hiked that fast, but um, it was actually slow. So I'm like, huh, I need to just keep steady, slow and steady. And I can get there too. How's your day going today? Oh, peachy. <laughs> <laughs> Has some really pretty views like this one. Going up to Klingman's today. We're gonna hit 200 miles! Yeah! Oh. There it is. Gosh, we're on a ridge walk and every time you turn, it's like, even more, more beautiful. I cannot get over it. This is incredible. Gosh, look at this beautiful view. Oh, I've been going straight up. Oh, this is like breathtaking. This is amazing. So I've been hiking 10 miles to get to my parents because they're going to give me a zero day tomorrow in Gatlinburg. Um, I'm going to get off at Klingman's Dome and I was so nervous about hiking 10 miles because of how I've been feeling and having little energy meltdowns in the afternoon. And somebody gave me an energy drink, I mean, not an energy drink, an electrolyte packet. And I drank it at lunch, night and day difference. So now I know it was my electrolytes that were getting depleted. <laughs> and I feel absolutely wonderful. Like I feel amazing. Um, and this hike has been, a lot easier than yesterday anyway, but, um, yeah, Klingman's Dome today, baby. Oh my gosh, it just keeps getting better. These mountains are incredible. Wow. Wow. Such a pretty stretch of the hike. Oh my gosh, look what's behind me. Absolutely gorgeous mountain views. Whew, it's worth the hike, for sure. Made it past all the uphill part. I'm feeling great. And now I'm going downhill. Just talked to my parents and 
I'm meeting up with them. So the day is about to get awesome. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to just be regular tired and not electrolyte drained tired. Like this feels amazing. So amazing. Gosh, I see the sign and <laughs> I've hiked um, all the way from Georgia to Klingman's Dome. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe that I've made it here. It's the highest point of the AT and apparently I've hiked the hardest part of the Smokies. Oh my gosh, it was so hard, but I did it. This video is sponsored by Kindred. Kindred is a give back collective that partners with artisans in developing countries. To check out Kindred, just click the link in the description. I just walked a mile in the opposite direction from where I was supposed to go. I accidentally took the bypass trail, which I thought was where I was supposed to go, but I really want to go down the actual Klingman, uh, Klingman's Dome trail. I was like way down there and my gut hooks was telling me I was off the trail, then it was telling me I was on and it was all messed up. So anyway, back to trucking it. I'm about to get there. Okay, there's the blaze that I missed somehow. All right, I guess this is the trail. I found, it's my dad. After, oh, I'm I'm glad to find you. after hiking the wrong way. <laughs> All right, let's get off this AT. <laughs> my goodness, I made it to the trail. <laughs> and I'm walking down the easiest path I've seen in a week. <laughs> now we're gonna go get some food and I'm gonna take a shower. Mom was calling because I was I was lost. Let's see what dad says. Okay, we got her. <laughs> Hi. They were really worried because I got lost. I was like, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And then I went down the wrong, wrong, wrong way, like straight down the wrong way. <laughs> so anyway, what a great day. Oh my gosh, look at this view. Most amazing view. I mean, dad just drove right up here and he got the best view. And I've been working for this for a week. Mom, I made it. 200 miles. I've hiked here from Georgia. <laughs> She's getting her legs. She's getting her legs in check. She's getting her legs in check. Now that wouldn't make sense. Mom said this one went slower. Yeah, because it was hard. Oh, you think it went faster yeah, this time? Uh, oh. It would take as many days to go with Probably, because I'm getting my hiking legs. I thought you were lost, girl. I thought you were lost. <laughs> I made it, Mom. Thank Do you feel better <laughs> now that you see me? Thank, yes, thank goodness. <laughs> I oh, was I lost. Addison won the 100 meter dash. Sweet and sweet, land for my bones in history. Sweet and sweet, find me in your hill. Coming up, Trail Dad joins Gushers and I for a hike in the Smokies. And I meet a legendary hiker setting a record on the trail. Plus, a much needed day off in Gatlinburg. It's all coming up in the next video.